Hi, this is Kevin for pixelvert.com. In this video, we're going to be creating this kind of light glowing bokeh effect. And this is a very simple, very effective technique. I'm going to go to File and choose New. And I'm going to create a document 1000 by 1000 width, uh, resolution 300, grayscale, 8 bit. And I'm going to press OK. Right, next thing is to go to the Shape tool. I'm going to choose the ellipse tool and I'm going to use that to draw an ellipse. As you can see it's already got a fill and stroke. We're going to edit those later but for now I'm just going to move it using the move tool. I'm going to move it to the edge of the document and then I'm going to press Control or Command T on the keyboard and just stretch it until it fills up the document so we get a perfect circle. Right, so I'm going to accept those changes and next I'm going to choose the black arrow tool and we're going to use that to make some changes to the fill and stroke. We're going to start off with the fill and I'm going to turn that black. The stroke is already black and that's fine but I'm going to change the stroke width to 20 pixels. So I'm going to type in 20px and that should be fine. And what I want to do is to check the alignment. We want the alignment to be inside which is the top selection and that's already selected. So that's all okay. However, our bokeh brush is looking nothing like a bokeh brush. We need to work with the fill opacity. I'm going to change the fill opacity to around 50 or 60 percent and that gives us our bokeh brush. We can now save that so go to edit define brush preset and that brings up a little dialog box where we can enter in the name. In this case my brush is the same size as my document, 1000 pixels. In previous versions of Photoshop you could go up to 2500. In this version, in Photoshop CS6, you can go up to 5000 pixels for your brush sizes. So I've closed the bulky brush, we don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna go back to my original background. This background is just basically a picture of a nighttime city scene. I've gone to filter blur and chosen field blur and given it a massive blur of around 200 pixels and also added a tiny amount of light bokeh just for a little bit of variation. You can see my previous video on how to create uh, light bokeh and to use this uh, filter gallery if you want. But that's how I created the background. You can use a similar picture if you want or if you haven't got one you can just create a dark gradient as your base. I'm going to create a new layer and in this new layer we're going to start with the bokeh pattern. So I'm going to bring up the brush and I'm going to choose my bokeh brush. It should be right at the bottom. Right, next thing on the agenda, I'm going to change my brush settings. So I'm going to go to the brush panel. You can get that by pressing F5 on the keyboard. I'm going to go to the brush tip shape and I'm going to increase the spacing to around 170%. Next, I'm going to go to shape dynamics. And what I want to do there is to make sure that the size jitter is at 100%. Uh, the minimum diameter can be around 50%. The other settings can remain at zero. And next we'll go to scattering. In scattering I want the scatter to be both axes at around 1000%. The count can be down to 3. The fade I'm going to change to around 10. Or maybe around 5. And I'm going to, I'm going to change the count jitter so that it's at around 20% and the fade is going to be 1. Next I'm going to go to transfer. And in transfer, I'm going to change the flow and opacity jitters until they are around somewhere between 50 and 70 percent. This is going to give the bulky lights a nice, natural looking, uh, fairly organic feel. I'm going to reduce the size of the brush until it's about 450 pixels. Now I'm going to choose white as my foreground and then we're going to start painting. To paint, I'm just going to dab with the brush here and there, fairly randomly and it produces a very very random looking effect. If you don't like a particular stroke just control Z to undo it and try again. And once a fair amount of the canvas is filled I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to change the size of the brush substantially until it's around 200-250 pixels and I'm going to go again with lots of random strokes covering quite a lot of the canvas. I'm going to change the background layer to BG and the new layer. I'm going to change that to an appropriate name as well. We'll call that mid. We'll continue by creating a top layer and I'm going to reduce the size of the brush until it's about 100, 110 pixels and uh, we'll call this layer the front layer. And once again just random dabs all over the place until a fair amount of the canvas is filled in. And we can finish off by getting a really tiny brush and just uh, adding a little bit of uh, 
detail right at the end there. I'm going to change the opacity of the back layer, the bottom layer, to 50%, and I'm going to apply a GB, a Gaussian blur, and we'll make that around 20 pixels. And next we're going to choose the mid layer and give that uh, a blur as well, uh, around 5, 6, 7 pixels. Finally, we're going to choose the top layer and we'll give that a GB of around, well, it's about as low as it can get, about 0.5 pixels. Finally, one more dab with the paintbrush just to add a final amount of detail. And next we're going to go to the Layers panel and shift-click the three bulky layers. Control g or Command-G on the keyboard groups those together. Finally, we're going to change the group blending to overlay for a subtle effect or to vivid light for a slightly more punchy effect. As you can see there, that's our bokeh effect. And very simple to achieve, but looks very nice. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching the video. Take care, till next time. Bye.